Teresi head above the line and this is where my zip should stop the opening should stop the seam allowance is one inch so this is where I'll start sewing from I'll close this and then I'll close this temporarily I'm sewing with a colored thread so that you can see what I'm doing so a permanent stitch line reinforcing the beginning and the end of the line this will close the area below the zipper cut off loose threads then close the zipper line sewing a temporary stitch use the longest stitch on your machine this will make it easy to remove the thread when you finish sewing the zip So here is the needle, open the seam and finger press, place your zipper behind the seam with the head above the edge. Using the needle and thread, paste the zipper in place just the way you want it to be when you finish. Um, you can align the zipper to the side so it looks like it's overlapping or you can center it right in the center of the seam so i'm going to do both i'm going to have one zip aligned to the side and the other zipper is going to be right in the center so i'm sewing two zips for this video and i'm going to use two foot I'm going to use regular foot right here, the regular machine foot. Here, I'm going to need one more stitch to get the perfect angle. So I'm going to rotate the fabric again, back in place and stitch, one stitch, and take the angle. And here, I'm also going to need another stitch to get a perfect angle. Now I'm going to change the foot to the invisible zipper foot and sew the second zipper. Try not to sew on the metal be below the zip, it will break your needle. Now you can take out the basting thread and a temporary stitch. pick all loose
thread pieces your zips are ready take out the basic stitches and the temporary stitch Yeah, I have one zip looking like it's an overlapping zip. It's actually an overlapping zip. And I have the zipper centered. 